Hi, I'm Paul Feathers. I'm a partner in Rag & Co's pensions practice. Sponsors of pension schemes who are within regulated industries often face unique challenges in relation to managing their pension schemes. Today I'll be talking to Paul Carberry, one of my partners, in relation to those challenges and looking at strategies for those employers to manage their pension liabilities. So Paul, today we're talking about pension schemes whose sponsors are within the regulated industries. In order to provide some context, can you talk us through which are the regulated industries, please? Well, there's no clear definition, but it clearly includes sectors such as electricity, gas, rail and water. The big difference about this sector is that the companies operating within them is, are, are clearly governed and clearly regulated by particular bodies, for example, Ofgem and Ofwat. So why is it that pension schemes whose sponsors are within the regulated industries are different? Well, there's a number of reasons for that, but I think primarily because their pricing is fixed by the regulator, so they have less control how, over how they price their, their product. This has an impact on the employer covenant and how trustees assess that employer covenant. And there's different skills required and different analysis required. And to reflect that, the pensions regulator has provided guidance on this particular topic. So what about the schemes themselves? Are they any different? In short, yes, these schemes are different. They typically provide very generous DB benefits, typically final salary. But they also provide a level of protection for the members of those schemes. And these protections are, are governed by legislation. There's a concept of protected persons that you'll see, in it, for example, in the electricity scheme and the, the railway scheme. These protections ensure that members who are protected continue to have the same level of benefits going forward as they did in the past. So it's much more difficult to close to accrual in certain of these arrangements. It's also worth pointing out that these protections make it difficult for sponsors to, to, to manage their pension liabilities in the way that sponsors can in non-regulated pension schemes. And a final point to note on this question is that Beckman rights are an issue here. If staff transfer out from a regulated industry scheme, often they will have generous early retirement and redundancy benefits and they will transfer. So these schemes provide generous benefits. Is there any flexibility for the sponsors to change those benefits for future service? Well, it wouldn't be correct to say that they can never amend the benefits for these schemes. However, it's certainly more difficult in the majority of these arrangements. For certain schemes, there is the possibility to terminate accrual, but in others, there clearly isn't. It's worth pointing out that not all the regulated industry schemes are the same, and they do need to be treated differently in this respect. So would it be possible for the sponsors to go one step further and close these schemes to future accrual? Yes, it would. Certainly, you can close some of them to accrual. But as I mentioned earlier, you can't close all of them to accrual depends on the scheme. You know, for example, we've acted for a sponsor of the Water Company's pension scheme and it was able to close its section of the scheme to accrual. The reason it was able to do that was because the, the Water Pension Scheme doesn't have the same concept of protected persons. Therefore, there's more flexibility for sponsors to, to close to accrual. That's not to say that closure to accrual is easy in the absence of the protected persons' rights. There are still a number of hurdles that a sponsor needs to overcome. For example, employee consultation, trustee consent and contractual rights of employees, but certainly there's more flexibility in certain of the arrangements than there is in others. And are there any other strategies available for a sponsor to manage its liabilities in these schemes? Yes, there are a number of other alternatives. I wouldn't say there's a huge range of alternatives, but there are things that sponsors can do. For example, we've acted for a number of sponsors who participate in the Railways Pension Scheme. And they've managed to implement a cap on pensionable salary, which helps them manage their costs in relation to the scheme. This is also a helpful alternative because it can be applied to both protected and non-protected members, so a useful flexibility for an employer. It's worth pointing out that this type of exercise is not easy to implement. It will typically require the con consent of employees, uh, but it can be succe successfully implemented. I'd also note that if it is agreed by members that a change to their terms and conditions can be made, this then needs to be reflected in the relevant scheme rules, and this typically requires a rule amendment agreed by the trustees of the scheme.